Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the new topic that is the rational numbers. We'll see the part one. So we have already done this rational numbers. You can see in the other uh, CBSC. You can check the CBSC parts also, whichever that book that is the universal mathematics. So here. I just given you the definition and directly we'll start with the explanation, but you can go to that videos as well. So in that you can, you can find a detailed explanation as well. So since we are doing this book, we'll again do the same topic. That is the rational number, which is in the, in this book, that is the chapter number four. So a rational number, let, what is the definition of that? A rational number is a number of the form that should be in the P if it is in the form of P by Q when P and Q are integers. Integers means you know from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So here, but here the Q should not be equal to 0. Suppose now if we write here 0, the numerator this is the, in the numerator, 0 is in the numerator, and 1 is in the denominator. We get the answer as 0. But if you are writing here 1 divided by 0, means this is this is P. And this is Q. Same here, this is P and this is Q. If this is 0, means that is undefined. So here, the Q, uh, this one, the Q should not be equal to 0. So it, it should be in the P, uh, form of P and Q, but Q should not be equal to 0. This is what you have to remember. So now we'll start with the exercise that is 4.1. So what was the need of extending the number system to rational numbers? So we needed rational numbers actually to show the small parts like half of a chocolate suppose or one third of a pizza whole numbers you know the whole numbers they could not do that we cannot show the fractions in that so we need numbers like 1 by 2 1 by 3 because it should be in the form of this equal to help us you can say share and measure better so this will be one of the answer you can also write it in your own words it can be anything because they have asked what was the need of extending the number system to rational numbers so now you have the ask minus is minus 10 by 0 a rational number and give reasons for your answer. So as I told you in the definition earlier that it should be in the form of P by Q, but this Q should not be equal to 0. But here is 0 so that we can say this is not a, even if it is in the form of P by Q, here is 0, the Q is 0, so it is not a rational number. The reason we can write no, because minus 10 by 0 is not a rational number since denominator is 0. So this can be one of the we can say the simple reason. Write down the rational number whose numerator is minus 125 into 8 and the denominator is 67 minus 100. So this is in the numerator what is given here. And 67 minus 100 means, see here this is the big number along with the sign minus 100 and this will be plus 67. So whenever we have this in integers what we do? We subtract this part because this is minus plus and so this is going to be 33 but then we'll give the bigger number sign. So it is going to be 125 into 8, that is going to be 1000, but there is a minus sign over here, and this is minus 33. Both the places, the numerator and the denominator, that is minus means, that is going to be plus, minus divided by minus is going to be plus. So that is going to be 1000 by 33. This is the answer. Write the rational number whose number is HCF of 26 and 91, and the denominator is LCM of 7 and 63. So when you take 26 and 91, we get the HCF means the we only take the whenever we find out the for this one factors of it, we just take the common factors. So the highest common factors. So what we can see, this will be suppose we are doing with this two. So yeah, I'll show you separately. So this will be by two, 13 ones are. And for 91, what we can see here, that is going to be three. Uh, this will not go with 3 but it will go with 7 13 7 is a 90 so this will be 13 ones are so now 26 will be 2 into 13 these are the factors and 19 is uh, 91 is going to be 7 into 13 so for HCF what do we do we just take the common ones so that is going to be HCF will be 13 so what we can see right there whose numerator is HCF of 26 and 91 that is going to be 13 
an LCM of 7 and 63. So 7 and 63, so that is going to be, we'll see here, this one will be 7 will be as it is, this is going to be 21. Then again, this will be 7 will be as it is, this is going to be 3 sevens are and 7 ones are. So what are the factors here? 21, 21 threes are 63. So here, this will be the LCM means we take all. So that is going to be 63. So this is the answer. Write the rational number whose number is the smallest five digit number and the denominator is the largest three digit number. Five digit number means it will start with this 10,000 because 9999 9, will be the biggest four digit number. After that, whatever the number comes is 10,000. So that will be the smallest one. And the largest, largest will after 999 9, 9 will be 1000. So the largest three digit will be 999. Simplify each of the following express with positive denominator. So now look at here. This will be what we have to do in such case. We have to take the HCF of it. So HCF here is after you take the factors, as I showed you earlier, we will take the factors. So the HCF is going to be three. So this also number is divisible by three and this also number is divisible by three by taking the HCF. So this will be 45 divided by 3 will be 15. 51 divided by 3 is going to be 17. But in here, we can see the denominator is negative. So they said with the positive denominator, and express with the, the denominator here, it should not be minus. So what we can write here? See, this is when we are writing here 15 by minus 17. So this is plus divided by minus. That is going to be always minus. So even if they don't write this one, we can also write directly as minus 15 by 70. But since they have written here with positive denominator, you have to put a stress over there and better write it this way and not this way. Both is the same, but we don't have to write minus in the denominator. And as it is, again, I repeat, plus divided by minus is minus. Now here 12 by 42. So here again for this one, the SCF is going to be 6. So 12 divided by 6, and this is going to be 42 divided by 6, which is going to be here 2, and this is going to be 7, but here is minus here. So this is going to be minus, and again, we want the denominator should be positive, so we can write a minus 2 by 7. For this one, we can take that CF is going to be 17. You can see that you can factorize it and see the HCF is going to be 17. So this also will be 17. So here 68 divided by 17 is 4. 119 divided by 17 is 7. So minus divided by minus. So minus minus becomes plus. So that is going to be 4 by 7. Now here fill in the boxes with appropriate numbers. Now look at this pattern first. So what you can see now, this whatever the yellow part that is already given in the equation. And this one is the, these are the empty blanks with a white color. So now you can see four, photos are 8. 4 3s are 12 and 4 4s are 16. Is the, this is the pattern. So here we have 9. So what it should be? 9 2s are 8 because this is multiplied by 2. So 9 2s are 8. This will be multiplied by 3. And this is going to be multiplied by 4. Same thing. We are going to follow the same pattern in the. So this is multiplied by 2. This will be multiplied by 3 will be 27. And 9 4s are. That is going to be 36. Now look at this pattern here. This is given. So this is multiplied by 2. So this also minus 3 into 2, that is going to be minus 6. So now what we can see this into this, so this is multiplied. So this is, my, sorry, uh, for this one, we have this into this one. So here what again you can see this is multiplied by 3. So what we can do, this also we have to multiply by 3. So that is going to be 15. Now again what we can see here, this is multiplied by 4. But that is multiplied by my uh, minus 4 over here because we have here minus and this is going to be uh, sorry we, uh, this is already answer is written this we have to look at this one so this is multiplied by minus 4 and this is going to be again this is going to be multiplied by minus 4 only because here is minus 4 so minus 3 into minus 4 that will minus minus is going to be plus because this is multiplication so this is going to be 12. so be careful with the signs because there are bound to be mistakes here so you have to do it carefully or you can do separate rough work and then only write it over here now we can see for this one 
so 21 and this is 3 so this is actually divided by 7 and this minus and minus will become plus so what also this also should be divided by 7 so that is going to be 77 divided by 7 that is going to be 11 so now what we can see here we have 22 years we got 11 so this when we check this one this is multiplied by 2 so this also should be multiplied by 2 so what will you get here minus 3 into 2 again be careful with the sign that is going to be minus 6 so that is done now so now we can see here this we already got as minus 6 and this is 12 so what will be this and this again this will be multiplied by 2 and this minus and minus becomes plus so this also should be multiplied by 2 so we get here 44 hope that is clear now because we have two numbers this and this is given so we can see here this is divided by 6 so we get 4 so minus 18 also should be divided by 6 so that is going to be minus 3 see we are again careful with the sign now we can see this is this we have got this is already there so when we compare this into this this is going to be multiplied by 5 this minus and minus becomes plus so this also should be multiplied by 5 so 4 5s are 20 now this is slightly different now you can see here this is 20 and this is 28 so now what we can see here we can simplify this one minus 15 by 20 so we can write here 5 3s are and 5 4s are so we get this as minus 3 by 4 so this also should be minus 3 by 4 so we already have here 28 and we don't know the box this here so this should be 4 means that should be 7 4s are 28 and this should be 3 means it should be 7 3s are 21 but this is actually minus so this also should be minus so minus 21 by 28 so when you again simplify and check this is to check so what will be that 7 3s are 21 and 7 4s are 28 divisible by 7 28 divisible by 7 so that will be minus 3 by 4 and this also we get 5 3s are and 5 4s are that is minus 3 by 4 hope this part is clear to you this is slightly different so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you